When you open your um, report card information spreadsheet template, the first thing you'll need to do is create a copy of it. You will not be able to edit this template. So up here, just underneath the title, click on the word file, make a copy, and then go ahead and remove spreadsheet template and the words copy of and use your name in front of that to rename the temp the spreadsheet. So give it a second to load and now you'll see the new name and this copy is now editable so I can edit in here. Um, this is where all of the data will be compiled. The next thing you need to do is click on the word form here and let's look at the live form first. So this is what your parents will see. When you send them the link, this is what they'll see. This is what they'll fill out, and then they'll click the word submit. Let's leave that there for a moment and go back to this, the spreadsheet. And now click on the word form and click on edit form. We'll need to change the title of this as well. So again, remove the words copy of and put your name there and then remove the words uh, the template okay and then click okay so most of you will be able to use the, the uh, this form just as it is but you can on this page go through here and anything you want to change you can edit the way to do that is when you hover over a question you get this little pencil edit button click on that make the changes you want and then click done once you're finished with this, you can close out that tab and we'll um, go back to this form here. This is a live form. Click one time in the URL, copy that URL, go over to Zimbra and type some link text like click here to access the report oh my goodness form and then highlight that entire sentence click on this little world here the little insert link form paste the URL there you can test it to make sure that it opens properly when you close that tab, you come back right here and click OK. You can build the rest of your um, email around this and then send that out to your parents using your DL or group contact, um, whatever you do with that. Then let's go back to the form here, the spreadsheet. And the last thing you need to do is click on Tools and notification rules. This is actually optional, but if you want to receive a, a notification when uh, forms are submitted, you can click here and here and click Save. And then you'll receive an, uh, an email at this Gmail address whenever, um, that, whenever a user submits a form.